We are headed into the Dollar Tree. There are a few things you can get for Christmas gifts here that are really practical and useful. And so like I've said before, we grew up pretty modestly, but it was good because it helped us to be really creative gift givers. And so today I'm excited to share with you some ideas of items just from the dollar store that people really would enjoy getting. There's a lot of stuff there that I think isn't gift worthy that you should just leave at the store, but I do think there are a handful of things that they would enjoy receiving, but they don't have to cost a lot of money. Well, hi, I'm Dawn from The Minimal Mom, and normally I'm helping you move clutter out of your house, right? But tis the season to give gifts and gift giving can be so stressful, <laughs> especially if you don't have a big budget. So like I said, let's brainstorm together some useful and practical things that we can give that don't have to cost a lot of money. So this is actually an idea that I got from Christine from Frugal Fit Mom. And so she said a great hostess gift, teacher gift, friend gift is to get some wrapping paper. And if you wanna add like some gift tags or other embellishments too. Um, but again, this is all about tailoring it to the price point that works for you right now, right? So add as few or many things as you want to, but to just wrap up a few things like this and to give it to the hostess. And so I think it's a really cute, useful, practical gift idea. So the gift wrap caught my attention first, but then the next thing I saw was these plaid dish drying mats. How cute is that? And I love it because often if you're entertaining during the holidays, you usually have some things that are sitting out drying. And so how cute if you can put it on here and then pair it with some Dawn dish soap and a little scrubby thing. What a great hostess gift for under $5, right? Even now at the new price point, $1.25, what are we at then? $3.75, what a practical, useful gift. And honestly, who wouldn't love receiving this? All right, so if you're looking for a gift for younger kids, our boys can never get enough Matchbox cars. They love them. And we don't really go to the Dollar Tree too often anymore to get stuff because they've kind of like gotten all of it at least once already, right? But if we do, or if I'm running in to get something, they will still go and look at the Matchbox cars because there's always new ones coming out. So Matchbox cars. And then also they have these little like car wash and car repair little shop things that go with it. They've really enjoyed those too. So for $5 or less, you can have a gift that is gonna keep kids entertained and playing. It's great because it's small. They can take it with them if they're traveling in the car or going to restaurants this time of year. And so it might be inexpensive, but I think it's a very quality gift. I also think giving some greeting cards, blank greeting cards, are a great gift. I know a lot of people don't send out cards anymore, but I know several people who still do. And so what a fun gift to give them some more cards that they can send. And what I love at the Dollar Tree is that these are all still two for a dollar, not even a dollar 25. And so they have a lot of like really fun, I, I think they have a lot of great like birthday cards, wedding cards, baby shower, that kind of stuff. But they also have some really nice, not tacky faith-based cards too, if you're into that. Like this one says, sending you a little TLP, uh, tender loving prayer. I just thought that's sweet. And it's just really nice to have on hand. Um, hope faith fills your cup. And on the inside, I think it says, and that it overflows. Uh, better yet, hope that cup overflows. And they actually look kind of cool, right? You can also grab like a six pack of the thank you cards to put with it too. And then this um, was kind of a cute little container. You might have just like an empty container at home. You could put them in. They don't have to even go in, in a container, but I thought this was kind of cute to stick them into. I mean, it's a gift I would like getting <laughs> too. And honestly, I don't always love sharing at Dollar Tree stuff because often you say, my Dollar Tree's not that good, right? And there's one that I go to that is the best of all. I don't know why the inventory varies so much between them, but I do know of one and I'm not in that area very often. So when I am, then I'm like, okay, I have some things on my radar that I go in and specifically look for. But again, as parents, like if you give our kids anything that just gets used up, that is, those are the best gifts. And so if you can find some fun bath stuff, again, are these like natural organic bubbles? No, but one thing a bubble bath isn't probably gonna ruin our kids, right? But these things are so fun. Um, they have the bath crackles, and if you can find these Crayola whipped soap, I have no idea what it is. Or wait, one month use? Really? I have no idea what this is, but I know the kids would have fun with it. Um, or bath bombs too. So stuff like this that they can use up in the tub, I think is a great idea. Okay, now this is one of my favorite Dollar Tree gifts to give, and our kids love getting it too. It's making an inventor's box. And this is a free label that you can print. I'll put a link down below if you want to. But this container is, is from the dollar store, or you can just use a container. Maybe as you've been decluttering, you've cleared out some containers at home. Um, but you fill it with stuff that kids can use to make their own creations. And so this rope from the Dollar Tree is great. 
for sure masking tape glue dots other adhesives like that that are like are removable <laughs> are good our kids love using hot glue guns too but it depends on the age of the kids um using things like these skewers again age appropriate straws they also have these wood planks um at the dollar tree so anything that kids can create and you can find stuff even if you might have some stuff at your house like zip ties or random fasteners or parts that you might just have in your junk drawer or laying around it's super fun if you put some of these things in here as well but the creations that the kids come up with it is so fun to see again it's consumable usable keeps the kids occupied and you don't have to spend a lot of money on it so this is one of my favorites and along those same lines, a gift of craft supplies is a great gift as well. Again, all the dollar stores vary a little bit in what they offer, but have you seen these? Look at these cool little critters and creations. They even move and bend uh, that kids can paint. They also have some great little characters like this for painting. And I know a favorite amongst our kids was always these little boxes that they could paint as well as the picture frames too. So it depends on the ages, but I love, I mean, up to like 10 years old, our kids have really enjoyed doing these types of things. And for a little bit younger kids, you can get the craft sticks, the pipe cleaners, these types of things they have so much fun with as well. Uh, and of course they have the paints too. So put a few things together, it's bright, it's fun. And again, consumable and usable, keeps the kids occupied. This is an awesome gift. And I think we sometimes forget that kids are actually really easy to delight. I know this time of year, especially, we see all the big, the commercials for the big things and we think they want all these big things for Christmas. But we have to remember that, unfortunately, we are raising one of the loneliest generations yet. And so kids, they're drowning in stuff, but they want to spend time with us. They want to spend time learning new things and creating. And so you could grab just a few um, of these baking supplies from the Dollar Tree and give them as a gift. If you live locally and you want to say, hey, let's get together and bake, or if you just wanna give it to them so they can experiment and learn these recipes on their own, that is a really fun gift. And I love that, you know, at the Dollar Tree now, they're brand name things, they don't look cheap or, or anything like that. And if your Dollar Tree has this bowl, grab it. <laughs> This is our favorite bowl. We make everything in this, whether we're making chocolate chip cookie bars or cupcakes, cakes. Uh, it has the pour star, it has a handle, it has rubber on the bottom so it doesn't slide around and it's super light. We even put it in the microwave. I know you shouldn't have microwave plastic, but when we're making chocolate chip cookie bars and you melt a, a stick of butter in it, it works in there. So you could, if you wanted to too, you could you know, put a few things in there that always looks super cute. And I've been really surprised how much our kids have enjoyed learning how to cook and bake and how much it increases their self-confidence when they bring something to us and they're like, look, I made this. It's really cool and they, you know, they want us to try it and, and tell them how great it is or if we take it over to my parents' house and they're like, I made this, Nana and Grandpa, right? They are so proud of themselves and it gives them so much self-confidence. So this can be kind of like a multi-layered gift, but again, our kids would love getting any of this. I've never used this uh, gift filler before. This was something, it's, it's kind of neat and I don't know, it's kind of fun. Um, a little bit messy <laughs> but anyways let's talk about a couple diy gift ideas that i think are really cool and you can get all the stuff at the dollar store so i'll show you our photo canvases but also you can make taco seasoning or chili seasoning and put it in a really pretty jar so i'd be curious if you make your own chili seasoning and taco seasoning or if you always use this use the store-bought packets uh, we always grew up just using the store-bought packets, but it was probably like seven or eight years ago, I was making chili and we were out of seasoning. I went to add it and I'm like, oh no, we didn't have it. And so I'm like, what do you do? I, it literally never even occurred to me that you could make your own. So I'm like Googling, like, what do you do if you're out of chili seasoning? And then I realized that the recipe is actually pretty simple and you probably have a lot of the spices on hand already, but if not, you can grab them at the Dollar Tree. But what I realized was it actually tastes so much better when you make your own seasoning. So whether, again, it's for chili or taco, um, it's actually pretty quick and easy to put together. And I think this makes a great gift. There's lots of pretty jar options at the Dollar Tree, depending on how big of a batch you wanna make. So this obviously doesn't hold quite as much, but it has the nice like rubber seal. So it'll keep it fresh and it's kind of pretty even after they're done using it. 
Or of course, this, this style is kind of nice too, but you'd be making a little bit bigger batch. But I'll link to the recipes for this because it's so easy to make. And then I do have some printable tags if you want to use those as well. So again, if, if anyone wanted to give me this <laughs> for Christmas, I would be like, yes, that's awesome. You could do a pair, you could do both of them or just one. Again, big jar, small jar, it doesn't actually matter. Very thoughtful and useful. And also along the lines of things I didn't know you can make yourself are photo canvases. So I had seen this idea, oh, I don't know, four or five years ago, where a mom had suggested that you take a picture with each child individually and then gift it to them. And I was like, okay, well, that sounds kind of cool, but will that be special? I don't know. So I made these, I think it was four years ago. Again, Dollar Tree canvases, um, matte finish Mod Podge that you can also get from a lot of dollar stores. And the kids really love them. They still have them hanging up in their bedrooms. And I had had the thought this year then I should update them. So we took pictures um, earlier this summer with each of the kids. And so I'm gonna update them as well. But the only thing you can't obviously get at the Dollar Tree is you need an eight by 10 photo print of the picture you wanna do. But you could do any kind of pictures. Again, the canvases are at the Dollar Tree. And then you just paint the edge, whatever color you want it to be. Mod Podge it on. It's actually super easy and very inexpensive compared to what you normally pay for photo canvases. So again, whether you want to gift it to your kids or another loved one, grandparent, you could make a whole set. You could just do one. You could do smaller sizes. Whatever you want to do. I love the flexibility and they're actually really inexpensive. So a great DIY. It does take a little bit of time, obviously, to, to do it yourself, but I think the outcome is worth it. Okay, and let's just not overthink it so much, right? For teens, hair clips, have you seen these shoe erasers? So anyone that has white tennies and how these are great. This is a little like photo string. Maggie would love this. Um, the girls like these face masks. Again, are the ingredients maybe a little suspect? Yes, but they're not doing it every single day. Bath bombs, always a hit. Uh, Jones soda, if you can find it at your Dollar Tree, great. Um, also, even for like men, like Tom would love just some snacks like this. Ah, I know, we worry so much. Like, what are they gonna think? Or is it gonna be enough or whatever? Gift giving is supposed to be about the thought and just expressing some kind of care or love for the other person. It doesn't always have to be like a million dollar gift and all of that, right? So a few snacks like this, like anyone in our household would love receiving this, especially as we head into the holidays and it's busy and everyone's running around, right? Oh, and they have some really cute plates right now for treats and you know, whether again, whether they're homemade or you're buying something and, and putting it on, it really is the thought right? I, I don't know. Gift giving has gotten so distorted <laughs> maybe in recent times. It's supposed to be about the thought, <laughs> right? And then one last thing that we still do every single year are our graham cracker gingerbread houses. And it, even for those, you can get all of the items at the dollar store as well. And so those are a huge hit. They don't have to break the bank and our kids have so much fun making them. All right, so they're all my favorite, best at Dollar Tree gift ideas. Any printables or recipes or other things, I'll make sure those links are right down below in the description. But I would love to know, are there any, what am I forgetting? What other things do you love to get and gift from the Dollar Tree or Dollar Store as well? Thank you for sharing that. And again, here's to putting the meaning back into gift giving, making it just about the gesture and the idea and not so much emphasis on everything being expensive and perfect, right? Okay, well, I'll link to my other gift guide videos as well. Oh, and you might also wanna subscribe. So come January when you need a little extra help decluttering your house, I definitely have you covered for that as well. I love you. I hope you have a really good day and I'll see you again soon.